The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress March 3, 1863, has awarded in the name of the Congress the Medal of Honor to Specialist 5, Clarence E. Sasser, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Specialist 5, Clarence E. Sasser, distinguished himself on January 10, 1968, while serving as a medical aid man with Company A, 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry, 9th Infantry Division in the Republic of Vietnam. His company was making an air assault when suddenly it was taken under heavy small arms, recoilless rifle, machine gun, and rocket fire from well-fortified enemy positions on three sides of the landing zone. During the first few minutes, over 30 casualties were sustained. Without hesitation, Specialist Sasser ran across an open rice paddy through a hail of fire to assist the wounded. After helping one man to safety, he himself was painfully wounded in the left shoulder by fragments of an exploding rocket. Refusing medical attention, he ran through a barrage of rocket and automatic weapons fire to aid casualties of the initial attack, and after giving them urgently needed treatment, continued to, s to search for other wounded. Despite two additional wounds immobilizing his legs, he dragged himself through the mud toward another soldier a hundred meters away. Although in agonizing pain and faint from loss of blood, Specialist Sasser reached the man, treated him, and proceeded on to encourage another group of soldiers to crawl 200 meters to relative safely. There he attended their wounds for five hours until they were evacuated. Specialist Sasser's conspicuous gallantry and extraordinary heroism are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. I think we'd like to get a group picture if we could with the. Uh... practice on TV. <laughs> all set. And then I think all of you would like to see their families. We'll have a picture with each one of the families. Could we do that? All right. Would you bring your family up uh, first? And then... Just, just one, just one, one, each family group. You know. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise they're going to cut some. They cut some of you out, you know. You know what? Ah, uh, let's see. Right. There we are. Right. I should tell you that this family is a California family, and uh, they live in. The <laughs> and uh, but on the other hand, they uh, they also hail from Washington, the state of Washington. So we've got two states represented here. All right. Is this? How do you feel being 30 and these other fellows so young? You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. There we are. Well, thank you, Ryan. Right. Congratulations thank to you again. You. No? I'm sorry. And we have a. Uh, he's. You stand right over here in front of me. Maybe you get on the other side. There we are. Not you stand. There we go. Now this family is from New Jersey, uh, Trenton, New Jersey, right? Yes, sir. And uh, the uh, your boy said that when he came in, that you, you tell him what, he, what you told me. My teacher said say hello. Says his teacher said say hello. <laughs> He's going to go far with his teacher. <laughs> He's in the first grade. Thank you, 
Now, this family's from Texas, and uh, the, uh, from just south of Houston, right? In the Houston area. And you still live in Texas. That's right. And you're stationed on Fort Bragg. Yeah. No, but Bel Belvoir. So we've covered the whole country here. <laughs> the east, the west, and California. It's quite a distance. Yes. That concludes the ceremony. We thank you all very much for coming, and we are honored that you could be here to participate in this very historic ceremony.